Next up is No Risk, No Reward by Dan Nukala. How much are you willing to put on the line? What's your limit, or rather, who's your limit? Three people, three lacerating perspectives, no easy answers. Triad Playwrights Theater is proud to present No Risk, No Reward. Everything's a gamble, and people who tell you any different are fools, or reformers, or counselors of some kind or another. You don't get anywhere in life without taking some risks. Oh, well, maybe if you live in the suburbs and have one wife and one kid and one dog, if that's your idea of a life, then I guess you can afford to play it safe. But we live in Vegas, baby. It's all risk all the time here. You want to play it safe? Live somewhere else. And, and don't, don't be, be a, a loser. loser. He's probably got that tattooed on his ass. That's his biggest fear. Someone will look at him and see right through him. Look past the bluster, past the bravado. He actually uses that word a lot now. Hey, you got to have bravado in life, baby. That's what people respect. It's not like when we first met. He had a sweetness to him quiet confidence. He walked like a man who knew where he was going. I grew up in this city. I grew up with boys filled with bravado. I thought I'd found a man who was different. I wanted a quiet man. She was looking for a quiet man. And I did that. It wasn't hard. You keep your head down. You work hard. You... <sighs> You tell the mildly racy jokes, but avoid the racist ones, especially in front of the little wife. Get a dog. Well, we didn't do that. I don't much care for dogs. Have a kid. We did that. A boy. Named him after her father. <laughs> no sense saddling the kid with uh, being someone's junior in life. All my friends liked my dad. They thought he was cool. He was the dad who bought everyone pizza after the game. Showed us all card tricks. Taught us to play blackjack and poker. Don't bet things you can't afford to lose, boys. Nickels and dimes. He used to take the boys down to the strip. He walked them through the Roman Forum, took them on the roller coaster. He would even push them to the front of the line for the pirate show. <laughs> hey, come on. We live in Vegas, right? We belong here. We earned the right to be at the front of the line. This can be one hell of an exciting town if you know what you're doing. <clears throat> Let the tourists drink the watered down booze. Losers, Losers come, come and go, go here, here every, every day. day. Winners, winners stay. stay. Winners stay? Then what the hell are you still doing in Vegas, Dad? In what universe, in what Language, are you a winner? It's the little things in the end, the little things you thought weren't all that important. Friendly neighborhood poker games that gradually weren't so friendly. Nights out with the guys that turned into longer nights, fewer guys. Sideways looks from neighborhood wives. No more coaching, no more pizza after the game. A few late cr bills, a bill for a credit card, you didn't even know you had. It adds up if you're looking to do the math. You get older, things change. You're a kid, you're not in charge. Dude, I think your dad's got problems. Not to worry, he's an adult. He can handle it. It's like you suddenly forgot how to swim, you know? It's like you come home and every day you're drowning. And you just wanna say, hey, I'm good at this. I can swim. I know what the hell I'm doing. Give me some credit here. 
I didn't wake up stupid this morning. When do you ask? What do you ask? How do you ask someone if he's okay? I mean, isn't he the guy that's supposed to be asking you that? Look, you can live in the shadows all you want, sure. Ride in the bike lane, use the crosswalk, change your oil every 3,000 miles. But that gets old after a while, you know? And, and, and here's all these people speeding past you while you're in the slow lane, barely doing the speed limit, afraid every cop is going to give you a ticket. And you just get tired of it. And you realize that sometimes in life, you just got to push it. See how far you can take it. And if you break down by the side of the road, who cares? You call AAA. Someone can come and get you. <laughs> and then it's like you're watching a child. Not a man, a child. All excited one moment on top of the world. Laughing, joking, flowers and $20 bottles of wine. But the next day, it's stomping around the house, screaming like watching a two-year-old melt down at the store, up and down, up and down, up and down like a roller coaster from hell. Things go sideways, and you shrug and walk away. Someone else can worry about the simple things in life. It's not your job to worry about them. You, uh, somebody will make the house payment. Somebody will put food on the table. Somebody will take care of things. It's not, it's not my, my job, job to, to worry, worry about, about the, the mundane, mundane things. things. Mundane things? You're the adult here, Dad. You can't just dump all this on us. You're not a child. We're not here just to fix your boo-boos. I spent so much time being afraid. Be sensible. Consider the risks. Good God. I did nothing but consider the risks for all those years. I sat in that office every day and talked about risk-averse investments. Play it safe. Consider the risks. Well, what about the rewards? Why not consider the rewards? And you gave me no credit for that, none at all, for figuring it out, for figuring out there was more to life than just being safe all the time. <laughs> you just wanted the same old me that always was. And it took some time. But I finally figured out that there are three kinds of people in Vegas. There's the winners, the losers, and the ones too afraid to find out which kind they are. The ones too afraid to take a hit on 15. So you lose a hand. So big deal. Better luck next time. But at least you took a chance. At least you risked something. No, no risk, risk, no reward. <laughs> How many times did I hear that? The big score is coming. My luck's about to change. All I need is one more hand, one more shot at it. I'm about to turn the corner. Vegas is a big city, kiddo. Thousands of corners. One of them has to be mine. Things, Things are, are about, about to change. change. But they never do. You come home every morning smelling of smoke and booze and desperation. Can't you manage one damn thing around here without dragging me along through the mud? Pay the damn mortgage. Change the oil and the tires. Get them rotated. You're an adult. Figure it out. You two don't need me to feed you. Eat dinner with the kid all you want. Just get out of here. If I could do that, <coughs> get the hell out of here. But we've got a little problem here, Dad. My college fund, gone. The money Grandpa left me, <laughs> gone. Hell, even my savings account, cleaned out. But I never took that money out. <laughs> well, look here, son. Your name's right here on the withdrawal slip. No, no, actually it's not. 
I've worked crap jobs since I was 15. I've carted thousands of dirty dishes and cleaned thousands of sticky tables. I've made fancy coffee drinks for every kind of low-life, high-hope drunk you can imagine. I, I wake, wake up, up one, one morning, morning and, and everything's, everything's gone. gone. Do you know what that feels like? What it feels like to wake up and actually dread facing another day? What it's like to realize when you look in a mirror and you say, leave, go. What it's like to realize that you are never, ever getting out of this stinking shithole of a life in this stinking shithole of a city. I look at him and I think, where can we go? Everyone who could help us gave up on me a long time ago. I, I can't, can't quit. quit. I can't just walk away. I've got too much invested here. I mean, look, I've, I've got a wife and kid who depend on me, who need me to keep going. Everyone in life has losing streaks, but that's what streaks are. They come and they go, and you just got to ride them out. And the minute you stop thinking you're going to win is when I guarantee you're going to lose. And this city loves winners. Nobody, Nobody loves, loves a loser. A loser. Or maybe they do. Maybe this city is built on loving the losers. Come on, it's the losers who pay the bills around here. It's the losers who keep the wheels spinning, keep the cards coming. It's the losers who just keep saying, hit me, hit me, hit me. So we hit them. And no matter how hard we hit them, they just keep coming back for more. It, it makes, makes no, no sense. sense. No sense at all. He's an intelligent man. He had a good job. He had plans. But I guess if I really stop and think about it, he was always in a hurry. We need a better car. We need a bigger house. I can't sit around, wait forever for that dick to give me a promotion. Hey, I've always been a lucky guy. But you, but you can't, can't sit, sit around, around and wait, wait for Lady luck, luck to come, come sit, sit on your lap like, like some two-bit two stripper. See, they don't understand. You got to play to win. I don't understand. You don't just wake up one morning and decide, today I'm going to turn into a real shit. That's on me. I'm the guy who slept through that one. But you look at your dad and you think, well, that's my dad. That's who he is. But you're too stupid to admit to yourself, yeah, but that's not who he was, who he used to be. What happened to the guy that used to build Lego castles with you? Where did the guy go? who showed you the incredible engineering behind the Hoover Dam, took you sailing. When did that guy stop coming to your games, stop asking if you'd done your homework? When did you realize you were never going to see that guy in the morning again, and you'd be lucky to see him even drag his ass home at night? When, when do, do you, you realize, realize you don't you even don't care, care anymore? anymore? Come crawling home whenever you want. I don't care. Go days without eating anything but grease and coffee. I don't care. Hook your fancy watch one week. Buy it back again the next. I don't care. Drag home to a bouquet of roses and a store-bought card about love, trust, and faith. Without even a signature? I don't care. Nothing's real with you anymore. 
It's like this city filled with bright lights, but nothing but darkness. Nobody really lives here. It's, it's all, all about, about survival. survival. And I'm a survivor. I'm like one of those cockroaches that can survive anything. You don't see me at some Losers Anonymous meeting moaning about my bad luck or my bad karma or bad juju or whatever the hell the excuse of the day is. Hello, my name is Joe, and I'm addicted to gambling. No, Joe, you're addicted to losing. That's why you're here with all the other losers. You're scared shitless of life. Corrective lenses, organ donor, risk averse. It's stamped on your license, stamped right across your face. So every time you walk into a casino, they read your damn face and they send you right to the loser's table. And after a while, you're sitting there thinking one thing. Why, Why am, am I, I even here? here? I don't have to stay here. I can leave whenever I want. Hey, I'm all grown up now. I can do my own laundry. I can cook my own dinner. I can make you a fancy coffee drink that's amazing. It's so good. <laughs> I hate this city. I hate the lights. I hate the sounds. I hate the smells. I hate the pigs at the trough, at the all you can eat, whatever. I. I hate you. But, but what, what about, about you? you? I, I can, can be, be like, like him, him and, and walk, walk away, away from, from a lot, lot of things in life, life but, but not you. you. Sometimes I think you're the only piece of luck I ever had here. I know you haven't had an easy life. I was supposed to do that for you. When you were little, I could put a Band-Aid on your hurt. I could hug you and make it all better. I had the words then, but now, what, what do, do I, I say, say to you, you now? now? You did your best. You protected me. You gave up so much for me. How can I just leave you now? I gave up a lot for you. I slogged my way through, through jobs I hated, neighbors I wanted to throw into the fire pit. I listened to your father's never-ending bullshit about maturity and responsibility and, and playing it safe. Well, he never risked anything. He never once came to the table, never pulled the lever. Hell, he never even bought a damn lottery ticket. And what did that get him, huh? Dead at 60. Dead with a pile of chips in front of him he never even played. Well, that's not me. I tried that. Okay, you dragged me into that life of eternal boredom, and then you resented the hell out of me when I tried for something better, when I reached for more. Everything I wanted, every time I gambled, I, every gamble I took, I took for the two of you. I, I wanted, wanted you, you to, to have, have more. more. You can't stay here. You have to go. This city is a place to visit. It is not a place to live. I can't stay here. I have to go. This is not a place I can live. You do what you want. I'll stay here. I can't live anywhere else. <laughs>